Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Aquarius. So let's get into it. Um, thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, today's word is relinquish. This is what I got when I was meditating off camera for you guys. So relinquish, what does it mean to relinquish? Well, it means to voluntarily cease to keep or claim, give up. All right, so maybe there's something you need to give up on. You need to relinquish it. You just need to let it go. Maybe even release it. Um, you need to voluntarily cease. So stop. Stop keeping up the argument, the fight, uh, the, the burden. You, you might have to relinquish it. And this could be anything. This could be, you know, relinquishing. Oh, I don't even want to say that. I, I, it, it's coming up deep. Woo. All right, so somebody's gonna have to relinquish the home or, or something. And it, it also could mean relationship. You know, maybe let go of the relationship. Some of you could be in spaces where you're gonna have to let go of some material possessions, but it looks like there's something on the other side of this, okay? So this reading is meant to be about love. I'm, I'm gonna pull some cards for just general also. Um, but anyhow, Relinquish is the word. Let go. Release. Cease to claim or keep. All right. So let's see what this reading is about for the Aquarius. We're going to pull some cards from the butterfly, butterfly or, whoa, Oracle deck. Join in. All right. So some of you need to do some networking. Now, this is going to be. This card talks about networking in person, okay? This is not online. This is not virtual. This is meeting up with people of like minds. Uh, my nail broke, okay? Meeting up with people of like minds, people who share your same interests. This could be networking in terms of business or just meeting new friends. You need to join in. Some of you have been, you need to relinquish maybe this recluse stage in your life where you're not, uh, engaging with other people you're not talking to you're not um, being involved you need to get involved you need to get out there um, this could even talk about volunteering and it's funny because relinquish says voluntarily cease so maybe you need to voluntarily cease this recluse state and get out there because it's something so much more on the other side of being by yourself motivation yeah you need some of you need the motivation to this could talk about moving your body through um, a new uh, exercise regimen also. It talks about what interests you. Um, some of this definitely could be talking about exercising and detoxing. Right now you need to speak your truth uh, about maybe your needs and your desires. And some of you just need to admit the truth to yourself and you need to shake up the routine and add some interest here and maybe this is why you need to get out here you need to network meet people you need to put more motivation into engaging in life here what else do we want to tell the aquarius so some of you just need to give up on you know saying oh i'm not going to do or i don't want to engage or i'm scared of or when i did this this happened and you've got to let it go you got to relinquish those thoughts yeah, be true to you. So something about being truthful in terms of your needs, your desires, uh, maybe even admitting to yourself something here. Maybe that you love somebody, that you want to be with them, that they're the one for you, uh, that you want the relationship back. There's a decision that you need to make and you need to take the next steps. You know, you need to take action. Yeah, you need to be assertive here. Um, accept and enjoy your unique qualities. So you need to accept yourself fully. Be creative and free spirited. Um, and don't sway away from pressure. Pressure bust pipes, but it also makes diamonds. So don't sway away from pressure here, especially if it's going to allow for increased uh, growth. All right. One more card for the Aquarius here support and that cat wanted to show its face here so you have support in terms of 
whatever it is you want to do in terms of I'm hearing that the angels heaven is supporting you it just says get busy join in motivation be true to you get creative support you have the support of the universe but if you're not doing anything they're not going to come knock on your door wake you help dress you tell you you know no one is doing that no angelic being no person you have to be motivated to make something happen for yourself here um with the support here this could even be talking about maybe even child support it says that money is coming to you okay maybe you're waiting for money a large sum of money here um, allow yourself to be supported maybe there's somebody who wants to step in here uh, you might need to do a consultation with a healthcare professional or this is what you are going after here uh, it could be cosmetic it could be in terms of your internal health um, this talks about joining a support group and then you have join in so if some of you have been through traumatic uh, events in your life you might need to get help in terms of talking to other people where you can uh, garner support and you can also be in a safe space is what I'm hearing so for some of you this is what you need to be this is what you need to be after here or going after um, there is support coming and money coming into you Aquarius so that's really good every single reading talks about money coming into the Aquarius and it looks like money that the Aquarius has been waiting for so let's see what the love messages have for Aquarius um, sometimes the strongest people are the pe sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. So maybe you're very sad, okay, uh, or something is transitioning in your life. You have to relinquish something. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to let go, and you have to move on. Here, um, do know that you're strong, and do know there's something better on the other side of this. What are the what is the love messages or the soulmate messages for the Aquarius? Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. So maybe you have been pouring into someone else more than you have been pouring into, into yourself. Uh, Self-love is the first love, is the person that you need to love first. You know, and also if you don't have any love for self, how can you give it to anyone else? It's almost, it's, it's the equivalent of saying, you know, someone asks you for a million dollars most of us don't have a million dollars some of us do kudos um but you can't give what you don't have so if i don't have a million dollars someone's asking that of me or desiring that of me i don't have it to give and if you don't have love for yourself you don't have it to give to anyone else you know it's going to look like something else it's going to feel like something else because people you know they'll eventually pick up on the fact that you don't even love yourself it'll be so it'll be a, a level of falsehood there so make sure there's love for you. What does love for you look like? Self-care, taking time for you, putting time into your appearance. You don't have to be vain. Um, taking time, of, of course, putting time into your appearance, uh, taking time in terms of your health, uh, your mental and emotional health also. Maybe even, you know, um, putting up boundaries, space, opportunity to grow in all facets. So that's what love for yourself looks like, okay? It may be, uh, it may come off as selfish to those who are needy, but they are needy, so. Okay, this card wanted to come out. Let's see, oh, this is what I'm saying, adventure waits. Go find it. And this talks about motivation, getting out there, putting yourself out there, joining in a group. Adventure, something else is on the other side of you letting go, okay, Aquarius? Some of you are holding on to, for dear life, holding on to a, a relationship a person a place a thing a job whatever it may be but you've got to let go because the universe is trying to get you to a place of surprise of of uh being spontaneous um outgoing happiness also in adventure i've never heard anyone say i went on an adventure and i was so unhappy um let's see you are on your way to meeting your true love very nice especially if you release relinquish maybe the traumatic events that has happened in your life you need to relinquish that you can't carry that baggage with you some of you don't even know that you're carrying it with you because you've been carrying it so long it, it's like a part of you so maybe some of you need to go talk to healthcare professionals and that could be therapists psychotherapists counselors um 
psychologist, maybe to help you work through those mental blocks, those emotional blocks, so that you can be on the path to meeting your true love, okay? All right, last card for the soulmate deck, okay? Your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. So some of you, this is about maybe even your career and finance life. You have some dreams also in terms of love. You have dreams. You got to get out there. You got to put yourself out there. You have to uh, be motivated to engage, okay? That increases the probability. We still live in the real world. We still have to be practical, practical and pragmatic. We have to be sensible, you know, if we want to meet people. We're not going to meet people in front of our TV every weekend, every night, every day. We have to be practical. We have to want to increase probability, which is numbers. So we need to get around other people. We need to get around single people. We need to go outside. Uh, go to the park if you don't like a nightclub or a lounge or something like that. Go where people are so that you can be met, so that you can meet, right? Um, and at the bottom of the deck, it says you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. All right. So some of you understand you're going to meet your soulmate when the time is right. Okay. And for some of you, the time is not right because you need to relinquish, you need to let go of, um, let's see, um, what the tarot has to say, how the tarot can, um, clarify, further clarify. So some of you already met your person. Some of you are on the path to meeting your true love. But the cards just want you to, some of you, okay. Some of you are in a very masculine energy and you're looking for a masculine man, right? Whether it be same sex or opposite sex. You know, you're, you're looking for, most people are looking for the opposite of them, whether it is same sex or opposite sex, right? If you're more masculine, then you're looking for somebody, you're, you're looking for your yang, right? You're looking for someone who's more feminine, okay? And I could be wrong about that, uh, about, about yang being feminine, I'm not sure. But anyhow, you're looking for the opposite energy, but, and, and that's most of us. You're not looking for someone who's just like you, who's a, who's a motivator, self-starter, who's strong, who's, can get things done, and who quick on their feet and it's going to be a power struggle it's going to be a mashup it's going to be clashing because they're just like you so you you're looking for someone who is opposite of you or and that person is looking for someone who's opposite of them and most times most men are you know masculine self-starters they are getting things done in their life you know um a quality man is anyhow and most women should be nurturing, caring, understanding. Therefore, the masculine energy. What can I do to help? What can I do to make this even more successful? What can I do to make this more peaceful? Whatever it is you bring to the table. But if you come to the table with the same energy as, as he has, it's eventually it's going to turn into, you know, a mashup. Like, well, you know, who's leading here? Or who's following? Or who is... Um, you know, how are we going to make this work? Because either I'm getting behind you and following you or you get behind me and following me. Or what is what is this about? You know, how do we do this tango? How do we dance here? Because you want to take the lead. Think about that. You know, most most structured, organized dance, tango, uh, the waltz. There has to be a lead. And then there's the, the most times the feminine energy who's following so, but if you have two leads and you're trying to do a dance like that, that's going to look real jacked up. Like that's not going to work because both of you are trying to lead. So, so for some of you, this, this talks about getting you to a place of relinquishing some of that very, very ferocious, fierce independence about yourself. Uh, and this could be even for masculine energy too. allow someone to love you, allow someone to come in. And we talked about that with the support card, allow someone to care, allow for someone to support you. Okay. Um, and it does, it's not going to look like you want it to look. Okay. Yeah. Allow some, someone to support me. Yeah. Give me, um, you know, $3,000 every week and, and get lost, beat it. Yeah. Your support. No, it's not going to look how you want it to look. 
you know, allow someone to support you um, how they want to support you. Be open, be nurturing, be caring for some of you, all right? Um, let's see. What does the Tarot want to say in this reading? I think I'm talking to, yeah, the Knight of Earth. Some of you are just stuck. Stubborn, says the Knight of Pentacles here. Stubborn. But it says that, you know, good things are coming to you. Some of it's taking a long time coming to you, too. It could be an offer of money. It could be making something profitable, you know, profitability. It says slow and steady. You know, maybe your business or your job or your career has been slow and steady. You want more money. You want um, maybe a higher position here. It says that with the three of fire, expansion can happen, growth. Um, it says that in all aspects of your life, things are uh, looking up, going well. You put something out there and you're waiting for the return. You're waiting for the successful completion of this project. This one thing will allow for stability and, and maybe even allow you to um, plant roots somewhere. Maybe even move or travel. Some of you um, are traveling too or someone's traveling towards you. What is this about? The three of earth. Yeah, some of you are waiting for maybe that paperwork, that those documents waiting for something to work out the three of earth or the three of pentacles talks about work waiting for something to work waiting for something to um for you to get the prestige the recognition the success that you uh, deserve here because you put in the hard work again waiting for stability waiting for a large sum of money waiting for a newfound wealth this is good um what else is going on for the world? Yeah, waiting for a higher level of achievement, going to the next level, maybe even, yeah, like a um, different way of living, you know, uh, closing out the cycle of maybe struggle or ups and downs or roller coaster in your career, your finance, maybe even in your love life. You're just waiting for, um, again, achievement, graduation, graduation from this this way of living to the next what do we want to give aquarius as advice what do we want to give aquarius as advice the three of air you got a lot of three so you could be seeing three 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 the emperor if you release if you relinquish if you um communicate with yourself and in others exactly how you feel um if you look to the future if you have vision in terms of what you want your future to look like if you have put in the work if you have maybe even um if you relinquish you got another card of isolation if you relinquish isolating yourself and alienating yourself and actually verbalize how you feel communicate then it looks like you do go to the next level the emperor status it says expertise within your career and your finance expertise within love maybe even you get a husband that comes in here or um a very strong figure that wants to uh create or recreate with you with the emperor taurus scorpio aries you get again roots are, are coming up i don't know you get more rooted grounded in who you are you get more structure and stability protection you gotta you gotta talk about how you feel okay in terms of masculine energy let's see what else yeah page of fire so you're going to be able to live life on your own terms, especially when this money comes in for you. Aquarius with the page of fire here. Um, there might even be a rekindling, a restart, a reboot to a relationship. And it looks like it starts off sexual. So you can have to ground the relationship. Maybe you'll have a, a makeup session. Okay. Um, but it could fizzle out. Clarify the page of fire. Also, it says that good news, promotion, new job, new endeavor, 
money uh news of large sums of money coming to you um maybe you'll be able to look better dress better um because the, the page of fire also talks about you know fashion you know um exploration you'll be able to explore go in a different direction go somewhere you haven't been before it talks about again living life on your own terms doing what you want to do how you want to do it says the page of fire a renewed sense of self the struggle again is over uh, maybe the burden the struggle in a relationship is over also what is the page of fire the knight of water very good cards um So news and talks, and then there's an offer made. It could be falling in love also. You know, falling in love. Have realistic expectations with your person, Aquarius, because the Knight of Water talks about Scorpio and Aquarius. Um, have realistic expectations of love. Don't get caught up in the newness, okay, especially if this is rekindling. Understand that you got to ground this energy. What is it grounded in? Is it grounded in us moving forward, doing some real monumental things in this relationship, making some real changes, moving in together, getting married, having a baby, starting a business? I don't know. But this just engaging and having sex and then departing, that can fizzle out very fast. What are you doing? Okay. Um looks like an offer could be made somebody's gonna be very gentleman like or lady like they want you to fall in love with them again they could also be very whimsical in love too like they can sh shift on you also especially when things start to get real when it comes to maintaining a relationship um you could get an offer of a job here too maybe doing something more creative or you can work how you want to work there's a level of freedom and creativity of how you bring in money. You need to go and talk to somebody about being isolated and isolating yourself. That's not, that's not the answer to issues, maybe childhood issues or deep seated issues from the past. Yeah. If somebody could have isolated themselves from you to this was calming down the situation. Some of you going to get in some relationships that offer you a lot of um, benefit. It says a successful, wealthy marriage, maybe later in life happening for some of you. Yeah. So Aquarius, really good reading. Lots to take with you. Lots of homework to do for some of you. Um, if it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. If it's your birthday, let me know. It's your birthday down in the comment section. Happy birthday. Um, if you have a birthday coming up, let me know the dates. Go ahead and drop the dates so we can uh, manifest good birthday uh, energy, positivity, and maybe even gifts, okay? So um, drop the dates down in the comment section. Aquarius, happy birthday. You got some work to do. Get out there. Adventure awaits, okay? And you also could be reconciling with someone. And do know that money is coming to, to you, Aquarius, if you're waiting for it. Relinquish. Cease to keep or claim. Okay? So relinquish. All right. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. All links are below. Go over to the website. Book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. So many blessings to you. Oh, also, we've got the new moon coming up. Um, you can make a deposit to the new moon jar. Contribute any amount to the jar um, just to bring in more abundance in your life, okay? So um, it's, it's, it's a money jar. We're going to do it on the new moon. We're going to manifest more abundance. So this is about money. It's a money jar. It's not love. So if you would like to contribute to the new moon, bring in this money that we're talking about, then go ahead and contribute to the jar. Any amount, any donation is uh, welcome here. Um, and we'll do our new moon manifestations. Um, and a new moon prayer will be held for abundance because we're going to bring in abundance on the new moon, February 1st. Okay, so go ahead and make your contributions. Thank you again. Take care. Many blessings.